Hi, I'm Karmi Shammas. I'm your astrologer. Today I'll talk about Sunday the 13th of uh, June. Today the moon is in Cancer for the third consecutive day. It should be a very nice day if you're Cancer, if you're um, Scorpio, if you're Pisces, Taurus, and if you are also uh, Virgo. How is it going to be for all signs? Aries, it can be a little bit um, um, tempting to get involved uh, in a project with um, some family members or people that you feel really involved with um, maybe you really know them uh, but i think you have to double check on certain conditions before you get into it uh, you can be a little bit moody with uh, maybe with your kids with your children with your family with your parents so take it easy in this case Taurus, it's a fast beat day. You have great energy. You have great potential to discuss important topics as long as they are prepared beforehand. Meaning that don't jump into conclusions. Make sure that you know everything you want to talk about, everything you want to discuss. Um, uh, and don't worry about anything because you have all the mindset. The mindset is ready to get into that. Um, of course as i said it has to be prepared uh, beforehand so it is a lucky day it's a good day for studies it's a good day for travel for interaction um, and always make sure that you follow the rules gemini it's a nice day also gemini you should astrologically enjoy a nice day as long as you don't get involved in very big financial um, projects if they're not if you're not very well sure of them uh, so maybe this is where some uh, consultations come in maybe you need to consult with someone maybe you need to call someone before you sign a, a, a contract or anything also on the other hand if you're a student if you're an academic academic i think it's time that you double checked on everything on on books on papers on meetings um, it seems as if you're waiting for a for an answer a final answer and if you prepare well you can get a positive answer Cancer with the moon in your sign, it's a great start for anything, for something, for a little thing. Today, Cancerians, you should um, celebrate. It's the third day, third consecutive day uh, with the moon in your sign. This is something very big, something very important because it inflates you. It gives you great energy. It empowers you with determination and self-confidence and you definitely desperately you need it so i think today cancerians uh, should enjoy a beautiful day very decisive and certain uh, on certain issues and you'll be very happy with uh, with a green light there is something that's going to take place and you're going to enjoy it let's move now to leo leo this is a this is a slow day things may not work out as you wish i think something may uh, trouble you something may um, delay your project because it's not working as it's supposed to be uh, leo's i think today is um, uh, is maybe it's uh, it's demanding maybe it's exhausting it depletes your energy uh, on more than one one issue uh, you may feel tired you may feel tired planet mars is in your sign so you have to be extra extra careful especially uh, definitely you have to be careful if you were born on the 23rd or 24th of july uh, it can be very um, uh, you have to be very cautious okay let's move now to virgo virgo this is a nice day it show it brings out the best in you it helps you to discuss uh, nice things it helps you to uh, to go out with people, to socialize. Maybe you don't need to go physically and socialize. Maybe uh, you have a chance to talk to people uh, on, on, on WhatsApp, on Zoom, on things like that. But it's a nice day. It shows how nice you are, how kind you are, how humanitarian you are, how friendly you are. And this may actually change the way someone, someone you care about, um, yeah, they may change their mind about you. Maybe they had a different impression and now it's uh, it's definitely better and very impressive. You can be very lucky if you were born on the 25th, 26th of August. Let's move now to Libra. I think uh, Libra, you, you may feel a little bit under stress because the moon is in the highest 
uh, uh, highest point in your in your in your sky, in your chart. And I think there's uh, there's a possibility that you may actually get involved in something important. Remember, it's a Sunday. Many people are on a weekend, uh, but some of you are working also. So those who are working, you really need to double check on your work before you hand it, uh, because definitely someone may see a mistake somewhere. You know, uh, although you don't see it, but maybe someone else may. In all cases, it's an important day if you want to get married. It's an important day if you want to sign a deal. Just keep your mood in check. You can be very lucky if you were born on the 6th, 7th of October. Scorpio, this is a very nice day. It opens a new window to a, an opportunity. It's a great day if you want to move forward. It's a great day if you want to invest in something. It's a great day if you want to launch a new idea and if you want people to accept it. This is the best uh, time. Don't wait till 9.30 p.m. universal time because then this window of good luck, I think it will close and then you would have to wait for uh, uh, some other uh, times for you to uh, make uh, a move. Okay, in all cases, you can be very lucky if you were born on the 25th, 26th of October. Let's move now to Sagittarius. Sagittarius, it can be a long, long day. It can be also a good day to make things um, come together or come true or actually uh, sort things out. You want to be the best, you want to give the best of impressions and I think you can do it. Um, try to move in the right direction because things are going to turn out quite fine by the end of the day at 6.30 p.m. universal time, everything will be to your favor. So don't worry about anything. Try to work it the right way. You can be very lucky if you were born uh, in November. That will be in the evening. Let's move now to Capricorn. I think Capricorns today uh, may feel a little bit uh, tired, exhausted. This is the third day with the moon opposing your sign. I think this is a this is the third day in a row where you feel uh, uh, tired, where you feel um, exhausted. You may feel as if you don't have the energy to uh, contradict anyone. So try Capricorn to get things uh, into place. Um, try to avoid these conflicts, small conflicts with family members, with siblings, with parents. Take it easy. This is a long day, but I promise you that at nine, at 6.30 p.m. universal time, things this cloud, this storm will pass away. Uh, try to be as calm as possible till then, especially if you were born on the 16th, 17th of January. Let's move now to Leo, to Aquarius. Aquarius, this is a, a long day, a busy, busy Sunday. Uh, so you may be busy with a family. Maybe you have some visitors or uh, maybe you're working, you're at work. It's a long, long day. Uh, my advice to you is try to get things done, wrap it up before 6.30 p.m. Universal Time because at that moment the moon will go to uh, Leo and that's when you may feel a little bit troubled or maybe a little bit overwhelmed and that will stay with you like for 48 hours. So you have almost all Sunday to get things uh, uh, wrapped up, uh, although it's going to be a little bit um, uh, exhausting okay uh, especially if you were born on the 2nd or 3rd of february let's move now to pisces pisces this is a nice day it can be um, very romantic it can be a little bit uh, exciting it can be helpful and very promising uh, there's a, a big chance that you can actually um, uh, make it up with your with your with your loved ones maybe you're you're going to uh, start something new, maybe a new diary, you're going to um, start a new social media uh, page, um, big decisions, uh, something beautiful with loved ones. Um, maybe you would like to achieve something, anything. It can be small or big. It's a very nice day. It's very satisfying. You have to do something today before 6.30 p.m. universal time. Everybody can be lucky, especially if you were born on the 21st of February. This is it for Sunday. I wish you all a great day and see you tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye-bye.